Hi everybody, it's Mim Fawcett. Welcome to my home studio. We're going to spend a few minutes today painting. Painting with Q-tips and some other simple household items. And at the end of our time, you will have a beautiful spring bouquet of lilacs. So let's get underway. To begin with, I'd like to show you the final product. We have um, two bouquets here of lilacs. And I have to say, when I paint, I tend to be very loose um, and just kind of let the work evolve. And you will see that um, using the tools that we have, uh, it's very easy to work in that manner. So to begin with, we have a bunch, several bunches of Q-tips that are all put together with rubber bands. They should be bound together and pretty even on either side. I have a couple of loose Q-tips for working on the stems and then you will need a piece of corrugated cardboard and then a pencil to create an outline for your lilacs and then um, because I tend to be a little bit messy, it's always good for me to have some paper towels nearby. Oh, uh, and paint. Now, you don't need to have um, professional grade paints to do this project. Honestly, any type of paint will do. The type that you get in a hardware store in the paint aisle uh, would be fine children's paint, student grade, anything will work for your lilacs. The first thing you want to do is to take your pencil and to create a loose outline of the shape of your flowers. Just a suggestion. It's all going to be covered over when you do your painting, but at least this will give you kind of a a guide, a little bit of a guide for how you're going to work. Then take your first bunch. Again, try and remember to make sure the Q-tips are fairly flat and decide where your light source is going to be coming from. My light is going to be coming from this side. So what I'm going to do is take my bunch of Q-tips and create a dark side. This is sort of like rubber stamping, which we all love. There we go. Very loose, very open. Change the direction of your Q-tips. So you start creating a very organic pattern. Go back again. Fill in the dark side of your lilac bloom. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of depth in there using a different color. And then let's go for a mid-range tone. I love this color. Soft, but very deliberate. I'm going to let my mid-range tone bleed a little bit over to the side that's going to have the most light, just as a little bit of undertone. All right, let's try 
a little bit of white. Let's see what happens. Right, we're going to add a little more white in here and a little more definition in here. Point, you can just take a single q-tip and start getting a little bit of a suggestion for your stem. A little bit of green in here, a little suggestion. The emphasis is really going to be on the blooms and not on the stem. Okay, so this is a wonderful rich green and I'm going to use it for the stem but also add a little depth in with just one Q-tip. Getting a nice rich color and a little bit of definition in the bloom. All right, lilacs, plentiful. I added a little bit more down below and a little bit of a stem and the blooms are smelling sweet. So now we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to deliver some flowers to some friends. Please join me. Everyone, thank you so much for being here today. I've really enjoyed our time in the studio. I look forward to seeing you all again at the Attleboro Arts Museum very soon. In the meantime, get out those Q-tips, start pressing, make sure that you make some beautiful spring blooms and be sure to deliver them to some friends in your neighborhood. Take care, bye-bye.